Good morning! I am up and ready to make some breakfast. You see some smoke in the background there. Started the fire again. Oh, no, I'm just getting breakfast started. Left my eggs resting up here. And there they are. <laughs> Gonna be scrambled anyways. I washed the dishes, washed my hair, got a new change of clothes, brushed my teeth. Now I'm just trimming my beard and then I'll be going grocery shopping, getting some gas on my way to Grand Canyon. All right, I finished up with everything that I need to do in town. Good thing about it being cold now, ice is going to last a lot longer. So I usually get the block ice when I can. It comes in like a 10 pound block instead of like the individual little cubes and stuff. That lasts a lot longer. So usually I can get um, about eight or nine days of the block ice without it melting. And with the, just the regular cubed ice, I'll get maybe three to five days. Look at the landscape around me right now. I am 50 miles away from the Grand Canyon. I was envisioning like kind of like deserty kind of climate, not really a lot of trees, Northern Arizona. Per usual with pretty much any national park I've been to, it's surrounded by national forest. Within the park, you can't camp in your vehicle. Forest, you can camp wherever the crap you want as long as there's not a sign saying that you can't camp there. We are at the Grand Canyon entrance. Very busy. It's a Saturday though, so that's to be expected. All right, I'm in. We got four miles to go until we get to the first overlook. Finally found a parking spot. First stop is going to be Mathers Point, and I'm gonna head to the visitor center from there. Here we go, about to be the first view. This rain was freaking crazy. So I just went and visited the visitor center. Really cool, I learned a lot of stuff that I want to share with you guys. So how deep is the Grand Canyon? Well, it depends on where you are. From where we are, it's about 5,000 feet, one vertical mile all the way down to the bottom of that canyon. The bottom of the canyon is a little more than 3,000 feet elevation, We're sitting at about 8,000 feet elevation right now. At the very bottom of the canyon, on average about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, higher temperature than it is up here at any given moment. And when it does rain, the drops of rain actually evaporate before they hit the bottom of the canyon. If you look straight across over there at the top, that sits about a thousand feet higher in elevation than where we are right now. Now, how is this canyon formed? It wasn't from glaciers, it wasn't from earthquakes, it was from the river. What makes this river, the Colorado River, so special that it forms this deep and gorgeous of a canyon. The Mississippi starts at about 2,000 feet elevation and it goes down to the ocean at about 2,000 miles away. So every mile it drops about one inch. The Colorado River starts at about 12,000 feet elevation, goes down to the ocean at about 1,000 miles. So for every mile, it drops down about 12 feet. Because of that, there's a lot more force behind the water in this river and that force will carry all this rock. All right, it's starting to rain and get pretty windy and, and uh, it's getting that time of the day right now. So I'm gonna go head back to the Jeep, find my campsite. Well, I successfully found a spot. It was super easy. It took me about 20 minutes to get here. There were tons of pull-offs. I passed eight to 10 available spots on the way to this one. And I'm getting cell phone service, which is pretty awesome as well. Tons of room, there's a big fire pit right here. This will definitely work. Awesome. Wow, it looks like it's gonna start freaking pouring any second now. Not gonna wait any longer. Starting my supper, hamburger noodle corn hot dish. Hopefully I can get done with my supper, clean it and everything, and then get all nestled in there in my Jeep before it starts raining. Hey, here comes the rain. I had to close everything up and move the cooking station inside. Just got it rest in there. Really important that I don't spill that, because that would... Cooking my stuff. See you is just rolling everywhere. Good thing I got these rain guards so I can roll the rent window down a little bit. All right guys, well I'm just chilling here in the Jeep, getting myself all nestled in and stuff. Gonna go to sleep to the sound of rain. I think this is the second or third time that has happened on this trip. Three and a half months in. One great upgrade that I've recently made, something that I missed a lot, really sets the mood. 
So that's the ambiance. These candles that I got fit into these grooves perfectly with my guitar right next to it. And I've been touching the guitar just to make sure, you know, that it's not burning or anything. Good replacement when I can't have fires to 